Hey everybody and welcome back to the Asphalt University. In today's episode, episode number five, we are going to be showing you guys the different types of rollers and their uses uh, on a project site. Uh, just a quick breakdown, the project that we are going to uh, bring out to today is uh, it's a new construction job and they are building a hotel and we are out on the uh, last phase of the parking lot today. So I want to uh, bring you out there so we can catch that last day. On this particular project, we're actually running three different rollers. Um, the first roller being uh, the breakdown roller, and uh, that is going to be a three-ton steel wheel roller that is used for the initial uh, compaction, and I believe that's the most important part of um, the asphalt process or the paving process is um, the initial compaction. Uh, the second roller you'll see out there is, is an intermediate roller, and uh, on this job that's going to be a pneumatic roller. Uh, also known as a rubber tire roller and this roller is a little bit different than say the steel wheel roller um, because it's actually got nine tires on it and what that does is it uh, isolates the weight onto nine different points uh, uh, on the asphalt so um, you're getting a little bit different compaction there and its use is uh, to get additional compaction as well as uh, uh, kneading the asphalt and creating a slick surface and sealing off that asphalt um, and the third uh, roller that you guys are going to see today on site is, is what we call the finishing roller. And on today's job, that's going to be a one-ton steel wheel roller um, where it is uh, used for, uh, uh, to work out imperfections. As you guys know, asphalt's an imperfect product. Um, so as you're paving, this, this finishing roller is used to work out any imperfections in the asphalt that you might see visually. Um, so uh, it helps um, uh, smooth out some surfaces that may look a little rough or maybe where you got a roller mark from the initial compaction um, uh, or maybe you had to loot uh, somewhere or rake the asphalt somewhere and uh, this is worked to, or this roller is used to work out any imperfections and beautify the asphalt and it is also used it's a, in tighter spaces it's a much smaller roller than the other two uh, so a lot of times if you can't get into a corner um, uh, so to say, um, this would be a great, great roller to use to get into the corner for uh, uh, some, some compaction purposes. So anyhow, uh, we're going to get out there and when we get out there, I'll show you each one of these rollers in use. All right, guys, uh, as promised, we're out here at this hotel, we're paving and uh, we want to show you the breakdown roller, the intermediate roller and the finishing roller. Let's go ahead and get started on the breakdown roller. As mentioned, it's a three ton steel wheel drum roller and that's used to get the initial compaction on the asphalt which is really the most important part to, to maximize the longevity of your asphalt. So let's take a look at it. You can see the weight is distributed on two steel wheel drums and as he's making his way back you may hear him cut the vibrating uh, the vibrator on and what that does that also allows for additional compaction or maximum compaction. So you may hear sometimes specs ask for 95 or 97 percent compaction rates. Basically this guy right here gets the initial compaction and what it does is it's compacted to the 95 percent and what that is doing is it's pushing 95 percent of the air out of the asphalt leaving about five percent air in the asphalt. The reason why you want a little bit of air in the asphalt is for the flexibility. Asphalt in nature is flexible and you want it to you want it to remain flexible for a long lasting parking lot. So that about does it for the uh, three ton roller and let's move on to the uh, intermediate roller which is going to be the pneumatic roller. Come on Michael, let's go ahead. Alright guys, here we are with the intermediate roller and as mentioned earlier, this is our pneumatic roller. It's also known as a rubber tire roller and as you can see it's got nine tires and that just picks up additional compaction. Uh, how it gets additional compaction is it, it isolates the weight at the, onto nine separate points and those wheels also oscillate. So as those wheels oscillate, it's also kneading in the asphalt, really sealing off that asphalt. So Michael, come on, let's go take a look at this thing. So it's got four tires on the front, five tires in the back, and again, it's isolating the weight distribution. So 
So you're getting a weight on nine separate points, which just creates additional compaction that is needed. So take a look at it. One last look as he backs up and then we'll move on to the finishing roller. Okay guys, and lastly we want to show you the finishing roller. As mentioned earlier, it's a one ton steel wheel roller that's used to work out the imperfections in the asphalt. So take a look. Hey Nas, hit that, hit that vibrator. And as you guys can tell, there's, or here, there's a, a, you can hear it vibrating. And what that does is sometimes you need the steel uh, uh, drums to vibrate a little to work out an imperfection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know. Leave remarks. Contact us anytime. We appreciate you guys tuning in today.